I recently made a skid plate for the Aventon level model, which is especially nice if you're going to go off road or into the weeds and stuff like that. So this video is to show you how to install um, the skid plate and let's get to it. With the skid plate, you'll get uh, an aluminum spacer, a 25 millimeter long hex head and a stainless steel flat washer and a couple of zip ties. So uh, let me show you the sequence in which these are installed. Okay, after you carefully turn your bike upside down and make sure you put it on something soft to protect your display and stuff to protect it, you'll want to take out this screw right here. And I'll go ahead and do that now. Okay, I re removed that screw. It's a, th a three millimeter. And uh, I want you to go ahead and then put your stainless steel flat washer on your hex head bolt and then I want you to put the spacer on the bottom side and that is what's going to go against the frame and you want to start with just a few threads to tighten it up and then I'm going to go ahead and uh, tighten it up a little bit more and I'll show you what to do next okay I've tightened down the uh, allen head just enough that it allows the skid plate to slide in this slot that I created and what you want to do then is to make sure the rubber bumpers sit on the crank housing right here. And when you're comfortable, they're in a good spot. Then you will go ahead and tighten down the front bolt. And um, what you want to make sure of is that the wires are out of the way. They're not pinched or in a bind. And that the bumpers are resting there as you can see they are and then we're going to go get our zip ties and I'll show you how to attach that to the bottom of the skid plate okay uh, you're going to go ahead and take your first zip tie put it in the hole feed it down so it comes around the swing arm and then put it up through the second hole here and then just uh, engage it Oh, three or four clicks. You don't want to tighten it up. Okay. And then we'll go ahead and do the other side. Same thing. Okay. A little, a little harder to feed it up because uh, the gear is in the way. And then uh, feed it up through the hole. And we'll cinch it up just a little bit. And you want to look over the top of your skid plate. Make sure it's uh, got clearance between your gear and uh, it protects the crank sensor. Then we're going to come back and we're going to ensure that the bumpers are resting on the uh, bottom of the frame. And then just cinch it up. You want to kind of tighten them up equally. And then look in there and make sure, once again, you don't have any wires in a bind or restricted or anything like that. Looks pretty good. You can see it's, it's a solid mount. And then uh, come back and get your uh, diagonals and clip off the excess. And then after you're sure it's nice and tight, clip off the excess. And there you have it. Now you've got protection for your crank sensor and all the wires underneath from getting snagged by rocks. And thanks for watching.